Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Sunday School on this special July 4th weekend. I am your teacher, Miss Lee from Lighthouse Family Center, and I'm very happy to see you today and that you're here to join me for Sunday School. Now today, we have some fun stuff planned. I know the last couple of weeks we've been going to visit the Wonder Clubhouse, but today we're not going to the Wonder Clubhouse. I know you might feel a little sad about that, but trust me, we're gonna do some really fun things today that's gonna remind us about the 4th of July and we're gonna talk about freedom. We're gonna make our own fireworks. It's gonna be really fun. So we're in for a good time, but you know what we need to start out with? A couple of shout outs. So I have two shout outs to give today. Our first shout out that I'd like to give is to Miss Abigail. So last week, Miss Abigail was working hard on making her Jesus Loves the World sign. So check this out. Here she is working on it, filling in some things on her paper, and then here's a beautiful picture of her holding up her Jesus Loves the World picture. And then this is my favorite one. She got a little more creative and added her finishing touches on the original Abigail Diaz picture of Jesus Loves the World. So I love your creativity, Miss Abigail. Good job. Our second shout out today goes to Miss Mia. Now Miss Mia also did a picture of Jesus Loves the World. Check this out. She did a great job there. She is holding it. And from two weeks ago, she shared with us the picture that she made for her daddy, the world's best dad picture that she made for her daddy for Father's Day. So that's so sweet. Good job, Mia. I'm sure your daddy really loved that. So today, my friends, we have a simple day, sort of, with our supplies. Uh, we're gonna need a white piece of paper. Very easy. And then guess what? You only need two colors to work with today, red and blue, because it's 4th of July weekend. And as you can see, 4th of July, the colors are red, white, and blue. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes of what we're celebrating on the 4th of July. But I also have these supplies that I didn't put in my box because they're a little different. You're gonna need, if you have it, some shaving cream, but I'll tell you what, Cool Whip could work too. You're gonna need some toothpicks, a spoon, if you have red and blue food coloring, I'll put those there, and a paper plate. So if you have these supplies, these other ones that I took out from the side there, those are ones you have to check with your mommy or daddy about to see if they can help you with. But these are the supplies. If you have them, get them. If not, that's okay. We're gonna have fun. You can watch me do some cool stuff with it. All right, so go ahead, get your stuff. All right, so we're ready to go, friends. We want to start off with our rhyme today. We're going to pray, and then we're going to get right into our lesson. So, hands up, make your church. In church, we learn many things to share with others and pray and sing. We learn to worship God above and tell others about his love. Good job. Here we go. One more time. In church, we learn many things to share with others and pray and sing. We learn to worship God above and tell others about his love. Oh, Jesus loves us so much, friends. Let's talk to him and thank him for that now, okay? Close your eyes, bow your heads, and we're gonna pray. Dear Jesus, we wanna thank you for today. We thank you that we can come together in Sunday school and that we can learn more about you and the freedom that we have in you, just like we have freedom in our country. Lord, we thank you for that freedom and we pray that you would bless our leaders, guide them, and just continue to keep this a country, Lord, that loves you and serves you. Bring us back to your throne room, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so our lesson today, friends, has to do with freedom. Now, you guys know yesterday was the 4th of July, right? I don't know if you celebrated it with your families, but do you know what the 4th of July is about? Well, 
the 4th of July is like the birthday of the United States of America. It's the day we celebrate our country and the beginning of our country. So let me give you just a real quick thing, right? So there was this other country called England and England kind of was in charge of our country, the United States. But our country said, hey, we want to be our own country. So there was a war and the England, the people from England came over and there was a war and uh, the people in the United States kind of fought and they fought and fought for several years. And then the people from England went back to England because the United States won the war. And that was when we became our own country. So it was a day to celebrate because now we were free from England. Now, there's something that's even greater than that. I love the 4th of July because you can celebrate the freedom of our country. But Jesus also gives us freedom. How does he do that? Well, let me tell you. So when we don't have Jesus in our life, it's kind of like we are living in our own jail like this so now we're in prison right and oh man we're locked up in here and what do you what do i mean by that we're living in prison well when we're not living for jesus we're living with things that aren't good for us and they keep us kind of locked in a place like we sin we do things we shouldn't do we hurt other people we're not kind uh, we don't we're not respectful to our parents um, we we have thoughts we shouldn't have these are things that are sinful meaning it's stuff that doesn't make god happy so we're living in this jail cell of our own life because we're stuck without jesus but then friends jesus he came because he wanted to set us free from all of that. So let me tell you how it works. Jesus came down, we've talked about him before, remember? And he lived here on earth and he died for our sins, remember that? He died to set us free because otherwise we'd still be kind of locked up in this jail cell. But Jesus came because he didn't want us to be locked up in this prison of sin. He wanted us to be free. So. What happens is when we ask Jesus into our heart, we say, Jesus, I know I've done bad things, but I believe in you and I want you to come save me and come into my heart. He does that. And then all of a sudden, we're free. And he takes us out of that prison. And every day he helps us to live more like him the way he wants us to live and to be more like Jesus because that's what the Bible says God helps us to do, to be more like Jesus. So friends, do you have Jesus living in your heart? Because I hope so. And I wanna make sure everybody has a chance to have Jesus living in their own heart. So here's what we're gonna do today, friends. It's so easy to have Jesus come live in your heart and forgive you of your sins and be free. All we have to do is pray. So we just have to ask Jesus to do these things and he does it. So what I wanna do, we're gonna take a minute and we're gonna pray. We're gonna ask Jesus to come into our hearts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pray first and then I'm gonna let you repeat, you say again what I said, if you wanna have Jesus come live in your heart. All right, so we're gonna bow our heads, we're gonna close our eyes, and I'm gonna say a prayer, and then you're gonna repeat it. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Dear Jesus, let me repeat, dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Please forgive me for all the sin in my life. I believe that you love me, Jesus, you died for me, Jesus, and that you want to live in my heart forever. So Jesus, today, I ask you to come into my heart, to free me from all my sins and the bad things I do, and to give me a new life in you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's it. Now you too are free to live in Jesus. This is a reason to celebrate. 
And it makes me think about how we just celebrated the 4th of July with all the fireworks. Have you guys seen fireworks before? Check these out. Look at these cool fireworks. Oh, sometimes they're loud, they pop, they're colorful. Well, today we're going to make our own set of fireworks, okay? Not the loud, crazy ones, but still beautiful fireworks. So, I want you to get those supplies ready to go, and we're going to do a fun craft together. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so here's what we're going to do, friends. If you have your shaving cream, we're going to put some... Sh Whoa, that's noisy. We're gonna put some shaving cream on the plate. And again, if you have Cool Whip, you can use Cool Whip. All right, and you're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna kind of smooth it out. Smooth it out on your plate. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just sort of smooth, right? And then, I forgot to tell you, you're probably gonna want a paper towel. I have a little paper towel here. I'm gonna put my spoon right on that, okay? Then what we're gonna do, friends, is you're gonna take the red and the blue food coloring. Now, you have to be really careful. You probably want mommy to help you with this. And you're just gonna put one drop and one drop, okay? It's not too close to each other because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to make our fireworks. And the blues, one drop and one drop. Then you're gonna take your toothpick and you're gonna make the fireworks. So check this out. You just kind of spread out the food coloring and it makes like fireworks. Do you see it? Look how fun these are. And I'm gonna show you this other neat way that you can do it too, where we're gonna mix some colors. So this is like the fireworks we see outside, but a little different. Now I'm gonna take a little red and put it on top of my blue firework, or actually both of them. And I'm gonna take a little blue and put them on top of my red fireworks. And then I'm gonna do it again. Spread them out, get those little things coming out to make it look like a firework. Aren't these fun? You know, the Bible tells us that when any of us give our heart to Jesus, that there's a big celebration that happens in heaven with the angels are rejoicing. And today, if you prayed that prayer with me, it's kind of like fireworks are going off in heaven for you because you gave your life to Jesus. So I think that's pretty exciting. So here it is, our friends, our 4th of July fireworks. And we're free in Jesus, so we're celebrating that. And look, I even, I had made another one. I wanna show you how this looks. It kinda of starts to run even more. Look how fun these are. Our 4th of July fireworks, so cool. So that's one thing that we're gonna have as our 4th of July celebration today. And then the second one that we're gonna do is You'll need your paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a cross. Because when we prayed that prayer today, we became free in Jesus because of what he did for us on the cross. So you're gonna make a cross with your blue marker. And then we're gonna write on here we are free in Jesus. Because that's what we can celebrate also with 4th of July is that we are free in Jesus. Now the red and the blue markers, what I want you to do is use your imagination to color and decorate it however you want with the red and blue, red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. So I'll give you some examples. You could do polka dots and just draw little polka dots all over your cross. There's my blue ones. And now I'm gonna add some red ones. So fun, right? Red is like the blood of Jesus that was shed because he loves us so much and it forgives us of our sins. You can also, if you want, do stripes. 
So I can do stripes on my cross to make it even more exciting. If you want to do that, you can do that. And you might even want to add some red stripes so you have some more red, white, and blue stuff. So I have polka dots, I have stripes. You can be as creative as you want because we are free in Jesus. All right, now, last but not least, my friends, this reminds me of our Bible verse for today. Here it is. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And that's from 2 Corinthians 3.17. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And the Bible says that when we have Jesus in our heart, he gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's part of the package of being saved and free in Jesus. So where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So my friends, I want to wish you a happy 4th of July, a happy Freedom in Jesus Day, and I hope that you have a wonderful week with your families, and always remember that we are free in Jesus. All right, let me show you my fireworks one more time. Woo! Happy 4th of July, everybody. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.